guys? It's exercise number five. We've been talking about bipolar tables and, of course, some exercises. So this is the last one on this section. We're going to have more probably in the first law or if you want to go and check out the course, the, I will be uploading more on that. But let me tell you, uh, if you got that, they tell you paper quality is about 45 or what does that mean is 45% is paper, 55% is liquid, okay? Calculate the enthalpy, H, of a vapor at these uh, pressures. So, I'm going to suppose it is saturated, it makes a lot of sense because this is a vapor, so the only possibility in which I have liquid and vapor it's in a mixture in which it is saturated. Okay, so it is not huge of a deal. It is actually makes a lot of sense. So from this table, let me introduce it to you. This is temperature, pressure. Of course, this set of point is saturated. I got a specific volume, a specific enthalpy, and specific entropy, S, H, and B. Uh, first thing first, let me go and check out where is this pressure come from? So uh, if I wanted this, I will have a mixture which is 50 Celsius uh, in temperature because it's saturated. And since we are only looking for enthalpy, ignore volume, ignore entropy, just get along with this set of data. And we're interested only in this row, so we are done with these three guys here. So let me write them down. This is the liquid, this is actually the difference, and this is the one of the gas. So I got gas, liquid, and if you make this difference, you will get this here. Okay. So you're probably wondering why do they have this. I personally think it's because they are lazy, because you don't need to. You just need this data here and this data here, and you could then just do the subtraction. But uh, they're nice enough that they'll give it to you directly. So once again, if the quality is this, 0.45, remember that I have this set of data. Calculate the enthalpy, guys, H, of a vapor on that pressure. And if you don't remember how to do that, I got a video back. Check it out. Actually, let me give you, uh, let's say, a click button here. If I haven't added that button right now, just tell me in the comments and I will add it ASAP and you will get to know where I got this formula. But essentially this applies for any vapor. And this means the, en the total enthalpy, which is the one they are asking me, equals the enthalpy of the fluid, which is the liquid, plus this, this vapor uh, quality, times the difference. You could either use this minus this, or because the table give it to you directly, you could use this value. I'm going to use this value, but Please note that this value is essentially the same as this minus 200, okay? So this is the fluid, this is the quality, and this is the difference. I got this, and this is not a minus, this is just a bullet, sorry about that. But the enthalpy is of that fluid is 1,281 uh, kilojoules per kilogram, which is very easy. And actually, you could do that if they tell you not only enthalpy but entropy well you will use exactly the same formula but now with this data or a specific volume you could use this here actually you don't have the difference so in this case you will be able or you will need to calculate the difference which is uh, the volume difference will be essentially just that of the gas minus that of the fluid and that's all for vapor tables. We're going to see a little bit more on theory. There are some problems when we want to get more data. We're going to see that in the next video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, 
teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.